Okay, guys, so enough people have now asked me to test this out for people, so I will be testing Archon today. Huge shout out to Cole, uh, Cole Medin. I know Cole occasionally watches my channel, so yeah, shout out to Cole um, for making this system. I'm going to test this system out. I'm going to be completely, brutally honest with the results. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. If I don't like it, I will tell you. If I like it, I will tell you. Completely unbiased review. I've got no reason to lie. I've got no reason to... Yeah. So yeah, let's do this. Let's just give a completely unbiased review. Basically, guys, what I like to do is... Okay, someone left a really weird comment calling me out for this. I'm not really sure why. Um, You just basically copy everything from the GitHub and just give it to Claude Code and say, set this shit up for me. Now, don't really know why someone had a problem with that yesterday, but it is what it is, basically. Okay, so you can see here, basically, uh, we have Archon running. Um, like I said before, all I did was just give Claude code everything and then give it my API keys, and it's basically just set everything up here. Uh, it seems like there's an error here. Not really sure what that is, but let's just open up the front end. I believe this is what we need, and this is where we actually, yeah, do most things. Now, it's saying that the knowledge base, there's a problem. Okay, so the the main thing that you need is this service role key right here. Once Archon has that, it should be able to run. Okay, so this is the project that we're going to try and build. I built this. I built this now with Context Engineering. I built it with um, Claude Flow. Now I'm going to try it with Archon. So the other thing that you need to do to set it up, by the way, is you need to go to, to SQL Editor, and then there's actually a file inside the code. It's this file here, basically. So if I just search for this so you can see it. This file here, complete setup.sql. So just open this in Visual Studio Code, Control A, Control C, and then put this inside your table editor or SQL editor, sorry, inside the table uh, that you want to use. So I'm using mo uh, this one right here, right? So I just ran this and then uh, it says success no uh, rows returned. So that's now fully set up. Now, if I'm not mistaken, everything should be now working. I can see some fail to fetch. Um, I'm not sure if this is important or not. Okay, so now we're inside Archon. Let's see what we can do here. So we'll use Open. Should we use OpenAI? I'm surprised Claude's not here. Okay, so let's put our OpenAI key here. Start using Archon. So I've never used Archon before, just so you guys know. So it looks like we need to place these rules, which are the Claude code rules, into the Claude.md file. So let's just do that now. Okay, so this is the button here, copy Claude code rules. And we'll go back to this conversation. We'll do memory like that, project memory. Just paste that in and then save. And then let's add this, the MCP to Claude code, because I believe that's part of this process. So let's exit out here, do that, and then do Claude dangerously skip emissions dash C should be getting to the point now where we can actually use the server perfect the MCP is running okay so let's add the LLM.txt for open router to Archon first of all because that's the knowledge base that we need so knowledge add knowledge there we go uh, two levels deep three levels deep let's do three levels deep and then add source. Okay, I must admit that is a pretty damn cool feature. So again, shout out to to Cole. That is a very, very cool feature for sure. Okay, that did only scrape five pages though. So let's just quickly try this again. Let's do maximum depth this time. Um, and then add source. Let's see if it'll do a little bit more crawling this time. Now, I'm not sure why this is only scraping five pages. There's definitely more five than five pages here. So let's just try a different page, open router docs. Let's just try this page instead, see if we can scrape a little bit more. So knowledge, uh, two levels deep, sure. Add source, let's see if it does a bit more scraping here. Okay, maybe it's a little bit more. Okay, there we go. That's getting 57 URLs perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Just a quick shout out to the sponsor of the video, which is, of course, me. SEOgrove.ai, guys, it's your last chance to join the waiting list for $1 and then get three months for $99 each, which is an 80% discount. This will be going very, very soon. 
Grove is a e-commerce automation platform. Currently for Shopify, it will also work with WordPress soon within three months. So if you still want to lock in that 80% discount, check out SEO Grove, whether you're on Shopify or WordPress, it'll definitely be worth it. The waitlist is going very, very soon. It's a really, really powerful platform. We have a lot of people using it already. We have a lot of people growing on uh, Google already. It's much, much cheaper than an agency and also much better than an agency as well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a completely free and open project, which means I can fork this and change it as needs be. I do really, really like the idea of this, but there are definitely things that I would change already, personally. Um, I prefer to build things from scratch, whereas I believe this is more like context engineering, where it's adding things to already uh, generated projects. I'm not sure about that yet. I would need to confirm that. But from what Cole was saying in his video, I believe that it's more like context engineering. This also takes a little bit of time, but obviously, I mean, I guess this is permanent knowledge base inside um, inside here, I would guess. Okay, yeah, guys, so just a little hint here. You need to actually uh, CD inside um, Archon first. So I'm inside an, a folder called Archon, but inside that folder, because I made that original one, you need to also CD into Archon here. And then if I do LS, you'll see I'm actually inside here. You can see claude.md is right there. So if I do claude dangerously skip permissions, and then I do slash, you'll see that there are all of these new commands that have been added, right? So now we have a different claude md file here as well. And I already have a PRP uh, ready to go from previously. So I'm not actually going to generate, actually, I will generate the PRP if it's possible. Let's have a look. Um, okay, so inside here, we need to put um, initial.md, right, with the one that we had before. And then if I'm not mistaken, it should be generate. I can't actually see what the generate command is right here. Create PRP. Create base PRP. It's definitely one of these, and I, I guess it's this one create and then I guess we put initial.md here initial.md so this should create the PRP that we need to actually generate the entire project okay so there's a slight um, disconnect between the old context engineering and the new context engineering but I do really really want to see how this goes again I think this is for adding a new feature I am probably going to take what Cole has here and I'm going to make it a little bit more of um, building something from scratch just because I really, really like that stuff. I'm going to say the, there is no current project. This is a fresh project. Okay, so yeah, Cole has definitely kept the kind of base of the context engineering template. This is pretty much exactly the same system that it does um, when you do the context engineering stuff. Now, it has done this without RAG, so I'm not really sure if that's intentional or not. I, if you're watching this, Cole, let me know. Um, I'm not really sure if this is how I would personally do this, because there's a little bit of a disconnect here, because obviously you have the RAG stuff, which is, just doing all that, uh, which is perfect. This stuff is great, the RAG, RAG stuff, but now it's generating a PRP from just doing random web searches here. So the actual base of the project isn't gonna be um, a PRP generated from you know really in-depth, web research it's just doing one search here and then generating prp this is dangerous in my opinion this is something that um kind of slips through the net often that from what i've seen anyway now obviously correct me if i'm wrong i might be using this incorrectly i have been following the steps i've been following the video as well he doesn't actually show how to generate the prp in that video so i am just going from my old my my old noggin basically but yeah, I mean, this is a slight problem because this PRP is based off like the, these web searches, which might not be detailed enough, to be honest with you. Now, again, I wouldn't say this was massively clear from Cole's video, to be fair. He uses like a command that's like slash lang graph execute or something. I'm just going to try this again. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But I'm not actually... I'm not sure where he got Langgraph PRP from, so I'm kind of confused. So let's just try this instead. This is now running the generation command, from what I understand. 
Okay, so I had to manually tell it to um, try and use the Archon MCP server. Uh, it said it wasn't available. I had to re-add it because I had to change directory before. Now we have the MCP. So instead of using this traditional to-do uh, list, it should use Archon. So if we go here, project management, there we go. This is very, very interesting. Fair play to Cole. This looks fucking incredible. I love this whole system. I'd love to get involved. Cole, if you're watching this, let me know. I'd love to work on the, you know, the PRP generation, making sure that you're generating with this beautiful, beautiful base of knowledge and stuff like that. I'd love to get involved. Um, yeah, but we'll see. Okay, so now, as you can see, it's just creating all the tasks one by one. I'm then going to just leave it. I'm going to go chill for a bit. Then we'll come back and we'll see how it's doing. Is this going to do these asynchronously? Let's have a look. Okay, so for a completely unbiased review, I'm now just going to leave this and we'll be back soon and we'll see how it does. Okay, so I built the entire back end here with Archon and then it actually built the front end without Archon. That's okay though, I'm, I'm just going to judge the kind of overall process here and we'll see in just a second if it actually works as well. Now, one, a couple of things I'd like to mention is first of all, this is supposed to add new features to currently existing code bases. I will probably change that. I will probably make my own version of Archon that is to build from scratch. The other thing I'd like to say is that Claude Flow definitely seems better than Archon in my very limited experience of both of them so far. So yeah, just like I said before, it built the back end. It looks like it did a really, really good job of the back end. I didn't test it. I wanted the front end to test it with, but this looks like a very, very, very good job of the back end. So we'll see if it actually works in just a second. Now I'm more bothered about back end than front end. I will be very honest with you. I think front end can be built by basically any system. Whereas the real kind of juice and the real kind of brain power needs to actually go into the back end. So I'm I'm actually pretty happy. This looks like it's done an extremely good uh, job with a lot of testing. So I may have to take back what I said before about um, Claude Flow being better. I would just say that what Claude Flow did was it actually fully did everything, whereas Archon um, got not stuck, but it stopped after doing the back end. Like I said before, though, this is a tool that is supposed to just add a new feature to a currently existing project. So I'm not quite using it as intended. So I'm not going to be too harsh and too critical. However, if it did manage to do all of this and all of this is tested and all of this is real and not just fake, then I would give this a 10 out of 10, hundred percent. I would just change a couple of things, make it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to basically do my own version of Archon, uh, if I'm allowed to, I don't actually know how it works, but I would like to fork Archon and change it to, instead of being adding a new feature to a project, creating an entirely new feature. I might message Cole and ask him if I can do that. I don't want to. I don't want to piss him off or anything. Like I'm not. I'm not really in the business of drama. I know Cole is a very chill guy as well. So I'm not. I'm not trying to like supersede him or anything. I just want to give my own unique spin on it. So I'll definitely be contacting him. I think um, if he doesn't say yes, then if you're watching this, Cole, what I suggest you do is you have two um, options when when you start a new project, right? So. You start a new project, you choose um, add a new feature to a currently existing project or start from scratch, right? And if it's from scratch, the prompting system should be slightly different where it is basically trying to create an entire project from scratch instead of just adding something new. I think most people want the second option of um, creating something from scratch. Not that many people will find adding a new small feature to a project as useful as being able to one shot something with real power behind it. However, like even if the front end is terrible or whatever, if this is actually real, like I said before, and I will check that this is all real, then um, this is a 10 out of 10. Like the, this build here is amazing. I would say that for adding a new feature, this is probably going to be the most insane thing you've ever used in your entire life. And I will test this on Grove, which is a ridiculously large project but i really do like being able to one shot things so i'll um i'll look at how i can put my own unique spin on archon i think with the playwright mcp and the kind of vision in the prompting to build from a to z 
this could be absolutely insane, honestly. This could be completely nuts. I'm very excited for this, actually. Okay, well, first of all, this looks really, really nice. This is, I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, but this is based off the PRP. So, I mean, this is a pretty good way to do it as well, to be honest with you. Let's see if all of this works. This is the, okay, you can't see the, the text, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's just do Hamish. Okay, so I'm not going to go through this now. This is exactly what I, I am working on to avoid, right? The last thing I want is to be bug fixing. So Playwright MCP, building A to Z, they're the kind of things I would add to this um, if, I'm a, if, if I'm able to, basically. So let's just quickly see here. This is actually um, everything working. I'm just telling it to use the back end to test everything. So, um, so you can see here, these are the ones uh, at the bottom here. Um, in Docker, this is what I'm testing to see it working. So you can see it's analyzing here. So if I open... Okay, so yeah, this is now just getting stuck in back end stuff that's not correct. A lot of it works. It's definitely close. Um, and it's definitely, I would say, better than just using Claude code. But is it better than um, is it better than Claude Flow? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not using it necessarily for what it was built for. But overall, I think Archon is a pretty interesting project. I'm very excited to see where they go with it. I personally would focus on generating product uh, things from scratch because that's, in my opinion, what people want and not just to add things to currently existing projects. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll leave the video there. This is a good system, but I think, to be honest with you, I'm more interested in Claude Flow for now, just because, yeah, when I used Claude Flow yesterday, it was pretty intense and unexpected, and it was a very, very, very good result. So I'm probably gonna have a little bit more of a play with uh, Claude Flow and see if I can edit it in in my own way as well. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.